Cities and counties across the metro already have mask orders in place, and that includes Denver. Yet some RTD drivers tell us there are passengers still refusing to wear them. Denver 7's Sean Toll spoke with one driver who wants others to consider her safety as well. Laura Vigil drives a number of bus routes for RTD. The message is clear to passengers who get on. Wear your mask. Problem is, many don't. Up a day, maybe 10 to 15. She says a recent conversation with an elderly passenger really hit home. He asked me, why am I allowing people to get on the bus without face masks that I'm putting his life and everybody's life on that bus in jeopardy. And that's just it. She can't make passengers wear masks. So we checked it out ourselves and found out most people had face coverings. But sure enough, not all. My hands are tied. Denver 7 reached out to RTD about their policy. Their response, quote, when someone boards without a face covering, operators can ask the customer to wear one. However, operators are also instructed that their first priority is to focus on operating the vehicle. Their statement went on to say, operators cannot refuse service to someone not wearing a face covering. We simply cannot put that burden of enforcement on our operators. Many of the areas V Hill serves have mask mandates. Still, many ignore them. To avoid conflicts between drivers and passengers, RTD says it's working on other protections, including plexiglass shields and offering masks to passengers. That's all great. Veal just wants passengers to do their part too. Respect others and wear a mask because, you know, we're bringing this home to our families and it's scary. Veal wants to get her passengers to their destination safely and just wants to go home each night COVID free. Sean Toll, Denver 7.